Han, are you ready? Sumeramad. Yes, sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, welcome everybody to the informal talk show. Uh, today we have Sumera Javed Ma'am uh, from Lahore, Pakistan. To introduce her, she is the principal of the College of Arts and Design of Punjab University, and she's also a professor of fine arts. She has received her PhD in studio arts and MFA degree also in studio arts uh, from College of Art and Design Punjab University. Uh, so let us welcome Sumera Ma'am. Welcome Ma'am. Javed Saab has introduced me already, but- um, Okay, thank you so much. Um, I'm, Dr. I'm Sumaira Jawad. I have done my PhD in studio practice uh, many years back. Now I'm currently I'm working as principal college of art and design and heading few departments as well. Uh, my major focus uh, is and was always was uh, the progress specialist uh, in studio practice. Uh, as we have a research center here, so I'm working. Most of the time, I my focus is uh, the studio based um, students and scholars. Right. My contribution as uh, educationers is uh, uh, I think it's been 30 years that I am in this field. But apart from that, I introduce myself as an artist as well, and I own it uh, more than an educationist. I think all are hearing me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 but we are hearing you. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, I uh, like to introduce myself uh, apart from uh, an educationist or principal or blah, blah, blah. I, I like to introduce myself as an artist because my, um, uh, my first interest uh, entering in this field was to become an artist. And then um, other things come on my way. Uh, gradually, like um, I did my PhD, and then, then I uh, became professor Oppo, as well. And Oppo, can uh, gradually, you, I excuse me, excuse me, Oppo, can you uh, switch off your mic? It's done, sir. Okay, that's fine. Good. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. Please continue. Okay, and um, uh, then my um, yes, of course, my. Uh, ideal figure is the founder of this college, College of Art and Design, the Anamolka Amar, who uh, was who came from um, England and established the department in 1940 uh, before Pakistan, before the partition. And uh, um, it's been to 82 years that the department is flourishing, and we have now eight departments in the um, college, including um, the research center. So um, uh, as I told you that my focus was always studio practice and I like to uh, uh, collaborate and I like to um, uh, coordinate or uh, participate my students to uh, other forums uh, regarding studio based activities. So I think um, it, it's my luck that I have, uh, yeah, or my fortunately that I, that I have given this, this task to um, head the college. So uh, now I think I can uh, fulfill my most of the dreams by uh, uh, putting my efforts uh, regarding studio-based activities. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Um, you know, could you also actually tell us more about the courses and degrees that are offered by your college? Okay. When the college was started, we had uh, just one department that was the painting department in the 1960s. Uh, and Amolka introduced design section as well. And then they, she also started BFA bachelor and uh, then MFA programs in the college. And gradually in uh, 2008, we introduced uh, textile design and music as well. Now we have eight departments, like one is the textile department. Um, in textile departments, we, uh, you know that uh, in the whole world, the tech, it is mostly textile based, not uh, in the fashion sense, but it is a textile based department. The other one is the architecture department, which is, um, uh, the 
largest or the biggest department in the college and the other is uh, graphic design or communication design uh, which is another uh, department uh, we have uh, so many uh, designers in the country working uh, who studied in the university here uh, in past few years or uh, um, then um, we have uh, painting department we have sculpture department we have print making department and uh, the uh, i'm proudly um, introducing that the, we have introduced uh, this year and today was the first day of our uh, i think we can restart uh, Never, i don't yes. know from where uh, it's okay ma'am you can just continue uh, whatever okay. you're saying i was introducing my department yeah. i think i introduced sculpture department yes, and print making and then i was introducing the music and performing arts department and we are going to introduce another department for which i am very excited and that is uh, mfa in traditional design so we have all together nine departments including uh, research center and under research center we have two programs yes. one is art industry and the other is studio based program really interesting yeah. actually i wanted to more about these things because Oppo, you know can uh, you switch off your mic oppo Samra, uh, could you please turn up yeah. your <laughs> could you please turn up your mic? Okay, okay. Sorry. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, I was saying we, you know, we really wanted to know more about the College of, uh, you know, the Fine Art and Design, especially because we have lots of. Uh, you know, participants in our informal talk show, whether it is the youth or, you know, the professionals, they are related with art as well as architecture. So, uh, you know, uh, we were hope uh, hopeful that, you know, uh, more information about your college would actually attract them to understand more about, you know, what kind of activities are performed in your college and all. So thank you very much for this information. Sure. Uh, we would also like to know that, uh, you know, whether uh, your college actually offers a uh, scholarship to national as well as international students. Yes, we do offer uh, scholarships, uh, both national and international students. And luckily now we have a, we have one uh, PhD scholar from China. And wow. uh, uh, yes, and she has uh, uh, just joined us a few days back. And well, yes, we do offer, and we have uh, another plan that we um, are offering, uh, especially our vice chancellor has planned uh, to uh, welcome, he's well, very welcoming for foreigners. And now he has planned a very well established program to the uh, students from other countries to come in our university and study here. Mm -hmm. And they also offer uh, scholarships. Right. So, well, this sounds like really interesting, you know, like a scholarship, one of the attraction for international students like me, myself, as well as others. So tell us more about, uh, you know, the environment of your college as well as the university, like, you know, uh, could you tell us more interesting things about uh, your college? Uh, you know, uh, I, I think I will start with the building. It's, uh, <laughs> the infrastructure is very interesting, uh, as Javed Saab knows, and a few members are sitting here who are um, Lahore-based, and they uh, can imagine that um, the ambience of the uh, Punjab University on campus. Uh, the environment here is um, very open. We are open to every. We are open to everyone. We uh, encourage. We uh, welcome all other students to uh, come and visit our departments. We have a um, very interesting uh, huge hall we, and we are using it as a uh, gallery as well. We have another gallery and we, um, uh, the infrastructure, as I, I told you, that is not very interesting, but uh, the close time period structure is al always very, uh, it's player to see the, structure like Punjab University and the environment is very, uh, apart uh, if we um, compare it to other uh, university departments we uh, have a different kind of uh, atmosphere here we um, you can see the students sitting outside the uh, class and uh, 
having some kind of music and wow. they are they because we have music department you, in the evening you can um, enjoy the the live live music and the guitar and sitar as well and singing uh, practices and um, uh, apart from that we uh, also uh, encourage students to come to our university or our college and we also encourage our students to go outside the university and visit other universities and uh, collaborate with them and we organize different kind of activities including exhibitions and projects as well so uh, currently we have a, um, uh, planned an in uh, uh, we have planned an in international conference uh, in the month of february which is uh, a collaboration with iran and turkey and it is about the um, uh, calligraphy and uh, arabic and urdu text so we uh, uh, sorry and so we uh, i think we will be uh, introducing another uh, uh, in, in other countries as well in pakistan and in our department so the the uh, environment is very um i will not say it's liberal but we um follow the few um academic uh, disciplines and of course our religious disciplines as well so, but the environment apart from it's um, um uh, it's regarding the education and uh, art activities is very exciting yeah it does sound like really exciting so other part that you know i would like to know is how about the food because it attracts a lot of attention right so what kind of food are available there <laughs> right uh, uh, in fact the old campus is uh, in the hub of lahore and the hub of lahore is full of uh, delicious foods like we have um, uh, the old anarkali bazaar or food street very close to the campus so uh, we have all together all kinds of foods including the local and uh, like mcdonalds and kfc wow. and other mm -hmm. kind of food but in the campus we have um, both traditional and um, other foods as well wow sounds very exciting so uh, you can uh, really enjoy the food as well yeah <laughs> that is really really exciting because apart from uh, you know the educational activity as well as the extracurricular activity so pretty sure a lot of from my side yes ma okay so what i was saying is that apart from the educational activity as well as the extracurricular activity a lot of people get uh, you know like especially the international students they generally have this problem with the food but knowing that you know even international cuisines are available um, and you know fast foods are also there yeah i think a lot of people will enjoy to be in your university and you know enjoy the food culture and other cultures there mm, so uh, in fact from... uh, as yes, uh, yes ma'am please uh, we yes. already have international students so the cuisines in uh, the campus are for both i think so we uh, uh, have all kind of all right so uh, to all the international students who ever wants to go to this college uh, seems like you won't have any problem with the food there <laughs> um anyway as you know besides from yes. your university and your studies your work so tell us about your hometown tell us uh, a little bit about your childhood in your hometown um uh, Uh, my father was uh, uh, in Pakistan railways, and we kept on moving from one city to another city. Landed to Lahore in three thirty years back. So my life was like a, uh, all the time I was in a journey, like uh, visiting one place and then going to another, and then so my childhood uh, memories are very exciting because. i always uh, whenever i it's uh, my memory is a picture memory i can imagine that playing myself or yes um, uh, the basic uh, 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 one thing
or, or on the floors of my house and of course the walls of my house when i was 5 years old so uh, i start a journey as an artist maybe when i was 5 ma how about your mother what she used to do uh she is a housewife and uh, she was always very supporting and uh, she supported me as well because i was a kind of um, the child who uh, opted for uh, something which was uh, weird at least i will i would say weird for other people that i want to become an artist and my other siblings were going towards like one is a doctor and other one is um engineer and other uh one is a lawyer but my i opted for um, from very young age i was very um i decided to become an artist and then i uh, opted for fine arts and joined university uh, the same university uh, so um, yeah it sounds really my interesting my mother supported me not only in the beginning but uh, yes and she was very uh, even my father okay can you hear me ma'am hello yes i can okay so you know uh, by the uh, you know like uh, the way you have actually told us about your family it sounds really interesting uh, like the background of your siblings as well as yours so uh, you know seems like your family would be like family gathering would be very you know like uh, colorful people from various backgrounds with various yes. stories to tell right so um also uh, you know like you actually started your journey as an artist since you were five mm, do you have any you know memories that actually uh, tells us about like what actually inspired you towards it like do you have any uh, strong memories regarding your inspiration yes i do have so many memories like uh when um as i told you that my we uh, kept on moving from one place to mm-hmm. other place uh we used to live sometimes we um the basic uh, uh inspiration was due to the journey and mm-hmm. all the all time traveling was nature of mm-hmm. course nature was the first uh and then uh, you it i think it is very um it's kind of uh, maybe uh, different that i was at, uh, inspired by the female faces when i was very young like i was 6 or 7 and when i started uh, drawing um, making the drawings of uh, female portraits female faces and uh, apart from uh, nature my second inspiration was female figure and female faces Ah. Uh, do you remember your first portrait my first portrait yes and uh, um, you know i still have that portrait at uh, my mother's house and uh, it was um, done in uh, watercolors and of course it was a portrait of a female <laughs> sounds really interesting we would love to see that someday <laughs> right yes, sure Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so tell us about your hobbies besides uh, you know art uh, what else uh, you know you are interested in okay now you know besides being an educationalist and an artist what other hobbies you have okay i uh, love traveling traveling uh, is my top uh, mm-hmm. priority whenever i get uh, some time i Uh, want to or i like to uh, visit the places i uh, i like or i want, want to explore and the uh, other is of course um, most of the people have same uh, hobbies like listening music or listening uh, or reading i have uh, i like to read and i like to listen music as well but top of the them them is traveling yes ah it may be because of the weather and all so there is not a big problem yeah so we were actually discussing that you know if you could actually tell us few things about artist residency in your place and the criteria to enter the residency as well as if you could actually give us a tour that would be nice 
thank you so much uh, uh, apart apart from other things like uh, teaching at Punjab University and uh, practicing my work i also organize uh, artist residencies um, it's been uh, four years and uh, uzma is here uh, one of the audience who visited the residency as well um, the criteria of my residency is it's we uh, give an open call to all artists who can uh, apply for the residency and then we shortlist them uh, according to their interest and uh, the of course the level of their work and um, everyone can apply for the residency and we welcome all artists to come and join us in the res but residency but we uh, due to the limitations we select only seven artists every year sometimes six or seven artists every year so the criteria uh, is same for uh, artists that who is the best and who is who can put uh, their uh, efforts into the residency uh, while uh, living there we uh, call them and, and we do them Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, since you actually talked about Ozma being there, uh, we would like to hear from her, like what was her experience, uh, you know, um, during the artist residency. Is you, Hello, Ozma. You can ask me. Yeah, Ozma, we would like to know Ozma. your experience. I visited uh, last uh, week, uh, ma'am, Karbat resi residency. It's very nice and very amazing work display in the uh, two, three galleries of City Heritage Mu uh, Museum. Is it right now a part of the National College of Arts? Uh, so it's very beautiful, uh, amazing exhibition and, and very um, uh, many students can uh, participate in it, uh, in this uh, Karbat residency. So um, I like uh, very much the artwork, all the artworks and, and also I appreciate it to uh, Ma'am Samara, uh, Samara Jawad uh, for um, the, uh, the Karpat uh, too. I think uh, the, your uh, residence is two years. Karpat 4. Karpat 4. And uh, uh, is amazing display and uh, 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 many students uh, in each year applied in this residency and very good experience of the students. Uh, they can uh, 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 participate in them. No, not so, so an artist. I'm an artist. Uh, no okay. <laughs> Or uh, many of uh, uh, artist friends are uh, sharing experience uh, about the Karbat is very nice and very uh, um, very cooperative residency to for promote the artists and the students also there. Mm -hmm. Thank so, you so much. Right. Thank, thank you so much, Osma. So, Mera Ma'am, would you like to give us a tour uh, of your residency? Uh, we heard you are in the residency building right now. Uh, you want to... Uh, you can just show us around. Camera? Yeah. If you can, you can just show us around no, no, with the camera. Sorry. No, no. I'm, I'm right now. I'm sitting in my own office. Oh, okay, ma'am. But I can tell you the um, few things about the residency. It's sure, a very beautiful farmhouse and we uh, give the artists a chance to live and uh, live together and experience the whole atmosphere and the aura and um, it's uh, away from uh, the city and um, the weather there is a little bit different, the atmosphere is different, the uh, surroundings are uh, very exciting and so close to nature. So they live, they live there together and experience the artistic activities uh, together and then they uh, produce or create works and we put the work, their works um, after completing the residency in any gallery of the city. So uh, this year we exhibited our work in the uh, 
National College of Arts Gallery, student in Art Gallery, uh, next to the museum. Mm -hmm. so, so I can share my work after the discussion. Ah, uh, sure about it. So yeah, I was not prepared, so I, I, I could bring the uh, visuals of that residency. It's okay, ma'am. Uh, there's not a big problem. So if, you know, in future we can uh, again have another talk show, maybe at that time we can have, you know, have a look at this. Uh, thank you very but, uh, much. Maybe uh, next time I will uh, bring the photographs or the artist works of the residency. Sure, ma'am. That would be really interesting for everybody. So I just wanted to, you know, bring Sumera, ma'am, out from the whole university and then the art stuff. I wanted to know that, uh, you know, like how she spends her free time uh, with her family. Sumera, ma'am, how do you spend yes, your time uh, with your family? Uh, um, you know, um, uh, especially after becoming the principal of uh, college part design, I get very uh, little time to spend uh, with my family. So, whenever uh, it's, it's, I think it's a great pleasure to sit with your kids and spend time. Everybody knows that uh, the uh, family is one of the uh, uh, part of our life where we feel comfort and we want to get, uh, spend time with them. I have uh, um, three daughters and one son and uh, eldest is just like my um, my friend and uh, the, uh, the younger uh, uh, three are, uh, of course they are very close to me but the eldest is very uh, uh, like as I told you, like my friends, and uh, um, I uh, like to spend uh, I time by uh, making or uh, cooking food for them and uh, sitting with them, watch TV. And to spend your own personal time. Uh, yes, that is very interesting. I. Um, I uh, write for myself. I do not share it on other forums. I write for myself. I write poems, small poems, and uh, I used to record my own uh, sound. Uh, uh, with, uh, I recite poetry and record them for my own self. And wow. of course, I, I like to listen music, uh, good music. Uh, uh, wow. Sounds really interesting. Uh, I think we will be very, very, all right. We will be very, you know, blessed if we could actually listen to one of your poetry. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so uh, back to the topic regarding your, you know, college and university again. Um, can you tell us about the scope of art and design degree? A uh, very interesting question because uh, most of the parents this question is um, the question of the parents of our students when they right. come and they ask why. Because uh, people are very um, like afraid that when they uh, send their children to the art academies or art colleges, what would be their future? I think uh, uh, in Pakistan, as we have not much. Uh, Although we have now, we have many universities who are offering uh, art and design programs, but still we don't have much uh, university or much uh, departments where we do or where we teach art and design. So uh, the scope in this country is very, um, very, I think, very good because uh, uh, there are so many uh, empty, uh, like spaces where they can adjust after passing out from the College of Art and Design or from art institutions, other institutions. And we have uh, less people. Uh, but one thing I, I think I uh, want to share on this forum that if we um, study in an art institution or art, art college, we should uh, give ourselves Not only urban areas, our uh, other areas as well. Like we don't have much artists in the 
uh, villages or uh, small cities. Every artist wants to settle uh, in the big city for uh, their own practice, but I think uh, they should go to back to their own cities and serve there. Then they would have more. Uh, they can get more opportunities and um, exposure and whatever they want to uh, in their life. They can set. They can set up their own um, galleries or their own. Uh, studios in their own cities. So, uh, in that case, yes, the scope of art, art and design is very uh, bright in uh, regarding uh, Pakistan. I um, maybe because we are um, the, we uh, uh, still in progress. Our country is still in progress, and we are trying to uh, uh, reach the. Uh, high uh, platforms and we want to excel in every field but I think we should uh, look into these things that we should go back to our uh, own cities and serve there. Yeah, I do agree about this, like going back to the roots where we came from, you know, uh, yeah. after receiving degrees, that actually helps a lot. Uh, to ourselves as well as to the society too. So it sounds really interesting. All right. So ma'am, um, you know, tell us about the, you know, like I will be asking this, this might be offensive, but also if your students here, that is. Um, tell us about like, what do you like about being a principal and what do you dislike about being a principal? <laughs> Very complicated question. Anyways, but yeah. interesting as well. Uh, uh, being a principal, it is a very difficult task because I uh, all the time I have to be here in the department and I get less time to for myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, the I think the uh, good thing is that. I can do, I can, uh, so many uh, things that I wanted to um, practice in my life and I want the students and faculty to involve in the activity, activities which are uh, more related to art and design uh, and which can improve the status of the college and of course of my country as well and uh, society. Um, uh, I have um, experienced that um, when we we dream of great, but when we uh, experience and we uh, do, uh, we realize that practically things are not that um, easy as we realize before uh, getting into all these activities. Um, after joining as principal, uh, I thought that I this is a time when where I can fulfill all my dreams, or I I can um, uh, introduce more things in the department. But uh, for all these things, you need to be more active and give your time or give your ninety percent of your lifetime to that department. So, um, uh, both are good. Uh, I think uh, bad is that we um, don't get much time for ourselves, but I think I am enjoying the journey. Um, I am trying to uh, my level, I'm trying my level best to introduce more things to the department. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing all of this, uh, you know, uh, your experiences. So and now I would like to open the platform for everybody. And, you know, uh, I would like everyone to interact with Sumera, ma'am. Uh, let me introduce everybody first before, you know, we go through the interaction session. So we have Ozma Bhatti. You already know about her. She's from Pakistan and has also visited uh, the College of Art and Design. We have uh, Samra. Uh, 
So Samra is uh, also an artist and I'm pretty sure she would like to interact, you know, uh, about your courses or something like that. And then we have Aditya, he is from India. He is uh, by profession an archeologist. Noran Khalid, uh, she is from Egypt. Uh, she is um, also an artist, uh, an architect, um, and a lot more. And besides that, she is also the moderator of Think Tank in the uh, ICOM Family Forum. So Shivani, Shivani is also from India and she uh, uh, is engaged in museology, you know, uh, sectors. And of course we have uh, last but not the least, Muhammad Javed Pakistan, who is from Pakistan. So I would like to open the platform for everyone. Please, if you have uh, any queries or if you like to interact, please feel free to do so. Uh, and for that, uh, I would like to invite her Javed sir himself. Uh, to start with the interaction so that you can break the ice for everybody. Yeah, uh, you see, actually, as I told you before that I'm also a was, a was a student of this college. So uh, definitely we, I know uh, many uh, teachers and uh, many students of uh, this uh, college. So, uh, Thanks God to Facebook that we are connected with each other and uh, we are doing, exchanging the things and sharing the knowledge with each other. So uh, the best thing which uh, I believe uh, about uh, Sumaira Javed, because uh, she is an excellent painter. She, maybe in the next episode, she will show us her paintings, but she is an excellent painter. So uh, she has uh, done many residencies outside, being even being uh, on the position of principal, she goes uh, and attends the residencies and keep on practicing. Because this is a skill, which I also tell my student that, look, you earn degree or you don't earn degree, that doesn't matter. Because this is a skill, you have to very skillful and very experienced uh, skilled artist in that. So there's no matter if you have a degree or you don't have a degree, this is your degree. So uh, definitely at that level, when I assume, so I feel that uh, few artists reach on that from my department. I don't know outside, but from my department. So uh, one of them is Samra right samra then uh, she will be agree with me that uh, uh, there are very few uh, painters from our departments those are uh, the class painters you can put uh, in class i am totally agree with you uh, and uh, i want a uh, uh, ask some questions uh, to Ma'am Sumaira uh, because she's also uh, my teacher and uh, my mentor. She's totally, uh, I can't speak uh, for he, uh, her because she, uh, she's a very good artist. She's very good teacher, very good mother. And now she's running an institute, uh, un, uh, un, uh, I, un, ex, unexplainable uh, because she's wonderful artist. I love her style. Uh, she's a realistic artist and uh, no, it's very difficult uh, to maintain everything uh, in one time because she's running an uh, artist residency, Karbat. Mm -hmm. I have also visited her residency. It's an amazing place. It's very naturalistic and a suiting place for every artist. We should uh, visit it, and um, uh, I also love to uh, stay in her residency. And uh, being a student, I am her uh, student, and uh, she's my most favorite teacher. And I learn many things from her, and uh, she have also a great skill to teach students. And I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your thoughts. This is really amazing, you know, because there are a lot of people who learn, but very few people who can actually teach. All right. Exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Aditya? So, Aditya. Would you like to say something? 
Mm, I don't know, but like I would love to know about the history of the fine arts building of from Sumela, ma'am. So if she can say. Oh, sorry, I wanted to add one thing that the building, the architect of the uh, building was a uh, Bhai Ram Singh. Mm -hmm. Bhai Ram Singh, yeah. Good Bhai Ram Singh, and it was uh, uh, um, constructed into 1911. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Long time back. <laughs> long time yeah, back. Long time. <laughs> Bhai Ram Singh was also uh, the designer of uh, uh, Lahore Museum building. Mm -hmm. Lahore Museum and, and National, National College of Art. Art. Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah. So almost all of these um, architectural buildings are in same areas. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, Aditya, I think your question has been answered. Yes, that is it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, Sumera, ma'am, we actually have one more question from Noran Khalid from Egypt. So she is asking if it is possible to do some online art courses for foreigners. Uh, sorry, um, I, I think, me, um, okay. Right, let me repeat the question again. Is it possible to do some online art courses for foreigners? Um, in fact, uh, we don't offer uh, any online program yet. Maybe in future, um, but right yeah. now we don't have any program. Uh, you know, last but not the least, I would like to ask Shivani if she would like to share anything with Sumera Man. Yeah, or tell us some poetry verses. Yeah, that would be nice too. Yeah, that would be nice too. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Sumera Man. Hello. Um, firstly, so thank you, Mama, sir, and Meena for this wonderful treat. Uh, dynamic personality for us. I know uh, about uh, I, uh, what is special about Mughal painting and uh, what did Mughal art show? You want this is a question for me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Basically, the Mughal art uh, is uh, all about the life of uh, the kings. It's all yes. about the life of the kings, their layer time, their war time, and uh, the flora and fauna. And uh, it's also uh, surrounds around the uh, different um, concepts of uh, painting. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, I'm not sure. Sorry. It's okay, man. It's okay. Um, I'm so sorry because a very senior teacher came. Okay. Sorry. Um, um, I, I was just uh, telling you about the Mughal uh, School of Art. Mughal, basically, they the most of the work is based on um, book illustration and the other uh, the wall hanging uh, work was uh, mostly portraiture and um, about animals and birds life of uh, the kings was the major uh, topic of the book illustrations and they love to have their life uh, like uh, they, they wanted their life should be uh, memorized through the images and the medium and or the uh, style of painting was miniature because they uh, brought it from Persia, especially um, mm -hmm. as, uh, Akbar was very much inspired by the Persian artists and they worked with them and uh, as, uh, two artists from Persia, they worked with them and they established a department uh, where they Hindu artists, Indian artists, and the uh, Persian artists worked together and established a new uh, style of painting, which was which, which we call Mughal miniature style of painting. There were two style of paintings. One is the Persian uh, miniature painting, and then it comes to when it comes to the Mughal, it, it is the blend of uh, local um, Indian art and 
the blend of uh, persian miniature painting so uh, the it is all about as i told you about the life of their kings and the the style of the painting was miniature yeah. yes we find uh, when we uh, when we talk about the book illustration we can see the uh, different stories like tuti nama like um, uh, akbar nama or um, uh, mahabharata or uh, different stories of uh, uh, of the kings and different stories translated uh, into uh, uh, persian from uh, indian text or uh, from other text to into persian and then it was translated during that time period mogal time period thank you very much ma'am for your answer thank you very much ma'am all right uh, finally i would like to ask osma to uh, you have actually shared a lot uh, you know before uh, your experiences regarding the artist residency but would you like to say something to uh, sumira ma'am or if you have any question please uh, feel at ease to ask her anything I want to ask, uh, ma'am, how was your artist practice nowadays? Uh, uh, tell me about your art practice as an after you become a principal. Uh, very uh, um, uh, interesting question because uh, after uh, joining as principal, I don't have much time for myself. myself means i don't have much time for my practice as well so uh, during uh, this time period i only uh, could do few uh, pencil drawings and uh, my small sketchbooks but i could not paint uh, as a regular uh, like i was uh, practicing in my uh, previous years but uh, now i have planned a show which is uh, i think after planning the show i have started working on it uh, i was missing my practice very much so i decided that i should uh, set a target and then i will follow it so after setting a target now i am trying to work again and um, trying to paint again yes, there were there is a big gap like one year gap that i could not paint in the last year but i had few, uh, many drawings and i have few sketchbooks um that i could do during this time period but uh, uh, like an easel painting or especially uh, i could not uh, spend my much time in my studio ma'am can you share uh, one uh, painting image if you can easily yes i have um in my computer uh, uh, meanwhile we can uh, anybody has any question or anything uh, to share they can i and i am uh... mm -hmm. that's the portrait of your daughter isn't it yes yes yes, yes. Uh, beautiful wow. that's so good. beautiful um, beautiful mm -hmm. beautiful beautiful i'm trying to share more i wish Yeah, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. It's excellent. Yes. Look at the clouds up there, you see. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent uh, uh, light, uh, thrown of light. Yeah, that's great. That's it's wonderful. It's a great, great painting sense. Yeah, it's a, the theme behind it is also yeah. very. Yeah, Nicole said it's very special. It's beautiful. Wonderful. Um. I think that uh, we will uh, see your range of paintings in next episodes. Oh, yes? sure, sure. Why not? Yeah.
Yeah, that's it. That's Thank you very much, ma'am, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you yeah. hopefully. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Uh, yeah. Mina, can you uh, say something? Closing remarks. All right. Uh, thank you very much, sir. No, well, uh, thank you, everybody, um, as well as Sumera, ma'am, for you know uh, taking your time and being with us, sharing your experiences, as well as answering all the questions with our participants. Um, we here at the you know virtual platform, we are trying to bring more professionals, seniors as well as you know youth and those who are also inexperienced too so that there can be an exchange of ideas and knowledge between all uh, age group so we are very very thankful to uh, sumera ma'am today uh, for being with us and to all the participants uh, for taking their time and uh, you know joining with us thank you so much <laughs>